that's some good coffee. Yeah, Jeff Adair Shreds, or AKA Jeff Bond Shreds for this episode. Why Jeff Bond, you may ask? What, you got some Bond Shore? You got some Gold Bond? What are you doing? You getting old over there with your Gold Bond? No, dude, I got some sick new rails from Tech Rails called the 007s. And it's gotten me feeling a little James Bondish lately. All right, this is the review for the Tech Rails 007s. I've been riding these things for a couple of months, and let me tell you, they are fast and comfortable. If there's nothing you leave with from this video, I want to tell you how comfortable and fast these rails are. All right, so let me tell you, let me let me take it back. Let me take it back to the birth of the 007s. There I was a few months back, and it just dawned on me that we basically need to do half of the 357. Yeah, Tech Rails, our flagship model is called the 357s. So that is my dialed in favorite set of rails. But when the GT firmware came out and the GTS came out, blocking all retilting, re-leveling apps. So if you have aftermarket rails, you cannot re-level your board. And that makes you have to ride with your nose three degrees up. It makes you have to ride elevated. Or it just has to make you ride with your nose low. After doing the poor man tilt kit and realizing that that's just a lot to do. And when you ride really hard, those washers, you know, start to loosen up. And you, you got to do a lot of, you got to do a lot in tightening. You got to really watch your stuff. And I was like, forget all this. Let's just make some rails. Half a 357s, right? So I got on the phone with Shoemaker and Brad, the owner of Wilma Parts, and was like, Shoemaker, we need to make half of a 357. It'll be zero degrees in the front, seven in the back. Hell, we can call it the 007s. Here you go. About a month ago, we went on pre-order, and we're about to go live with them now. And let me tell you, they are my favorite rails that I've had on the GTS. We have a new design where we have new axle carriers. We did away with the crazy hubs, and we got new ice blocks. So the new rails, the 007s and our flagship model, the 357s, they both have... Uh, slots in the middle where you can actually not take your board apart and dial in your uh, ice blocks height, uh, your rails height, uh, by not taking your rails apart. And so that's very exciting. Along with that, we still have the two height settings on the rails themselves. So right at first, you know, with the 357Ts, I loved the lowest setting. I would match the lowest setting with my preferred nose angle. I was ready to mob some trails. With that same mindset, I jumped on the 007s, and I found out quickly that I'd rather be on the highest setting on the 007s. All right. The 007s by Tech Rails. I'm at 0% nose. Anyway, I had the had the five inch, had the 11 inch tire. Uh, I was on the lowest setting. Yeah, I was at zero degrees in the nose and I was used to my 357s and I mashed on it. And uh, being on the lowest setting, which is 0.2 inches under stock, I uh, scraped the nose. I just clipped the ground pretty hard. And so, this is something that I guess if you're coming straight from stock, you wouldn't necessarily do. Like, like I said, I was on the 357s and I was dialed on that. So I've always been used to having a 3.5 degree nose in the front. So after taking off, mashing the gas, scraping my nose, uh, I knew right away that I was going to have to kind of feather the nose a little bit on the lowest setting. So I went and ripped for about a week on the lowest setting. I rode all the trails that I was used to in Dallas. I even went to Austin and rode some trails with some homies. Uh, some really technical trails that had lots of clearance issues. I found out after that week that, you know what? I want to try the highest setting. Normally, this isn't my vibes, highest setting. Let me see if I don't have to feather the nose as much and if this clearance is going to be a game changer with these 007s. Lo and behold, that's what I needed to do. Week two with the 007s was a game changer on the highest setting. Uh, I realized that the lowest setting was uh, pretty much just for street and the highest setting was my trail setting. And, oh, things to mention about the lowest setting, I did hit 30 miles per hour on the trail on the lowest setting. 
Like I said earlier in my intro, the biggest takeaway from the 007s is they're so fast and they're so comfortable. And the reason you go so fast is because you're so comfortable. I hit 30 miles per hour like it was nothing on uh, a trail in Dallas. Not a downhill trail, just a, a straightaway. I was able to go 30 plus. And then on the street, every time, every single time I ride it on the street, I go 30, 30 plus. And I don't even realize I'm going that fast. Literally, I went 33 miles an hour yesterday in flow, just riding on the streets. And what I've been doing, uh, locked in on my control freaks, I've actually been accelerating and braking with my back foot to really kind of be the perfect way to ride these 007s. If you ride with your back foot real heavy and use that to accelerate, it takes you being so aggressive on the front and putting your weight over the front of your board. Uh, the GTS loves it. It loves accelerating by pressing down on that back kick tail. You find a place where your pressure points and you can just work that wheel, dude. Not only are they fast, they're very light. We were doing a grip tape video the other day at One Wheel Parts and Austin picked my wheel up and put it on top of the table and he was like, God, this is light. And so I went over there and I, I lifted the GTS that was stock versus my GTS. It's a noticeable difference. On the lowest setting, it took me about a day to get used to them. Uh, on the highest setting, when I was riding for about a week on the lowest setting and I switched over to the highest setting, uh, I loved it day one. The highest setting is 0.4 uh, inches above stock, but it don't feel that high. Even though I'm in the higher setting, I think because I have my five inch billet on there, it feels dialed in. For the past two weeks, I've been riding on stock axle carriers just so I can really dial in what people are going to experience when they buy the rails without the ice blocks. So the seven degree kick in the back is mild enough where uh, it don't make you think that you're really high on the foot pad. Uh, I've experienced sometimes with a more extreme uh, kick in the back, it actually makes your foot higher and it gives your brain the thought that you're up higher. With my uh, 007s on the high setting, and I'm actually 0.4 inches higher than stock, I do not feel higher than stock. The seven degrees in the back still adds the stability that I love and allows me to maneuver the board way better than straight rails. Not to mention it reduces tail dragging tremendously. Next thing, guys, I'm going to be throwing on the ice blocks and really dialing in my 007s. Guys, you already know with the 007s and the skeleton design that we're going with, uh, it's weight saving. Our rails are lighter than stock. And all that airflow hitting the inner components really helps regulate your temperatures. When I was testing the skeleton design, uh, I found that my controller temperatures were 20 degrees cooler than stock rails. The motor temperatures were about the same but still came in cooler on the skeletons and the battery temperatures were cooler on the skeletons. So all across the board, the skeleton design is going to make your one wheel run cooler. So I know what you're thinking, Jeff, what is it? 007s or 357s? All right, today, January 31st, 2024, if I'm rocking a GTS or if I'm rocking a new firmware GT, it's all about the 007s. I found elevated is not the best when you're an aggressive rider, riding downhill, through chunky terrain, off jumps, off drops, okay? You're gonna need a more dialed in system. And currently, the 007s offer that, all right? You can ride with your nose zero degrees. What I suggest the 007s, and who would I suggest them to? Any GTS rider. Any GTS rider right now, get the 007s. Any GT rider with a new firmware get the 007s. All right, guys, that's the video. Much appreciation. Please leave in the comments your thoughts on the 007s. Comment if you're going to get the 007s. Comment if you think one wheel is going to allow releveling the board with the new firmware that they're going to drop uh, whenever they do drop it. Please leave a comment, like the video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Be on the lookout for a lot more content. We have a brand new product that I'm standing behind that is very sick uh, that will be dropping it right before race season. All right, guys, stay tuned for the next videos dropping. I'm going to be dropping a billet review very soon, 6-inch and 5-inch. Uh, race season is right around the corner, and I'm about to blow up your feed with one-wheel content. All right, guys, thank y'all. Love y'all. Let's get it.